Thank you for joining us for our Gospel Reflection from the Book of Common Prayer Lectionary. My name is Father Tom Papazoglakis and I serve as Rector at St. George's Episcopal Church in Clifton Park, New York. Today is the 24th Tuesday after Pentecost. Let us pray. O God, whose blessed Son came into the world that he might destroy the works of the devil and make us children of God and heirs of eternal life, grant that, having this hope, we may purify ourselves as he is pure, that when he comes again with power and great glory, we may be made like him in his eternal and glorious kingdom, where he lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Our lesson comes from the Gospel of Matthew, the 15th chapter beginning at the 21st verse. And Jesus left that place and went away to the district of Tyre and Sidon. Just then a Canaanite woman from that region came out and started shouting, Have mercy on me, Lord, son of David. My daughter is tormented by a demon. But he did not answer her at all. And his disciples came and urged him, saying, Send her away, for she keeps shouting after us. He answered, I was sent only to the lost sheep of the house of Israel. But she came and knelt before him, saying, Lord, help me. He answered, It is not fair to take the children's food and throw it to the dogs. She said, Yes, Lord, yet even the dogs eat the crumbs that fall from their master's table. And then Jesus answered her, Woman, great is your faith. Let it be done for you as you wish and her daughter was healed instantly. Here ends the lesson. Jesus had just left the region of Gennesaret to get away from the badgering and questioning of the religious leaders from Jerusalem who had come out to him. Jesus withdrew from Israel and went north into the region of Tyre and Sidon, the Gentile coastal region of Phoenicia. Tyre was some 35 miles from Galilee and Sidon 60. There he met a Canaanite woman who, in her desperation, pleaded with Jesus to have mercy on her demon-possessed daughter. She addressed him as Lord, Son of David, a messianic title. But even that title, even that appeal could not help her, for the timing was not yet right. While Jesus seemed to be ignoring her plea to free her daughter of demons, the disciples were urging him to send her away. Maybe they were thinking, Lord, just give her what she wants and she'll go away. Can't you just help this woman? Just give her what she wants so she'll leave us alone because she isn't going to give up until you do. Jesus stayed the course and reminded them that he was sent only to the lost sheep of Israel. He had come to offer to his own people the kingdom promised through David so many centuries before. This did not deter the woman, as she was not easily going to be discouraged. Any parent can relate to that sense of doing whatever it will take to help your child in their time of serious need. In spite of cultural or religious differences, she had somehow come to see Jesus as her only hope for her child. What would it take for you to drop to your knees and plead, Lord, help me? The response Jesus gave to this poor woman is hard to hear. It is not fair to take the children's food and throw it to the dogs. Yet once again, Jesus shows us that to see as we see is not to see as God sees, and to do as we do is not necessarily to do as God does. By responding in faith rather than reacting with some kind of self-righteous indignation that we might have expected, the woman received the blessing she sought and the disciples witnessed a profound faith they were not expecting to see. On that day, Jew and Gentile witnessed and experienced the transcending power of God's love, and her daughter was healed instantly. Let us pray. Sanctify, O Lord, those whom you have called to the study and practice of the arts of healing and to the prevention of disease and pain. Strengthen them by your life-giving spirit that by their ministries the health of the community may be promoted 
and your creation glorified through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Thank you for joining us, and join us every weekday for our Gospel Reflection. If you live in the Clifton Park area, join us for worship at 4.30 on Saturday afternoons or Sunday mornings at 8 a.m. or 9.30 a.m. If you're unable to join us in person, join us virtually through our YouTube channel. Our webpage provides recordings and details about all of our offerings. Thank you.